Okay, hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Bioshock 2. In this episode, we enter Gil Alexander's laboratory where he is uh, currently being held, but he's not really being held there because held suggests that someone is like imprisoning him, but that's that's not the case here. He's just insane and he's in like this giant tank thingy because he's too insane and he's huge for some reason. So, in this episode, we go there, and we get a first glimpse of the little glimpse, and uh, I decided to go up these stairs, because I didn't know um, exactly what was up them, but it looked like in the last episode, when we um, used the uh, unstable teleporting plasmid, it, lo uh, it looked like one of these, uh, like, um, uh, uh, when we get to this top, it's where we teleported to, so, like, Alright, well, there's that thingy there, there's Adam's stuff, and other stuff, so that's fun, and that's where we teleported to, so I just want to show you guys that. And then we go down here, and, you know, more stuff, so, this is cool, this is just another, uh, walking segment through the water, and, um, up here is where, uh, to the left goes to the laboratory, and to the right goes to where Lamb's hiding, and you need a key. Uh, to get in there, obviously, so, um, that's why we're going here. Well, uh, we're also going here to deal with Gil Alexander, but we also need the key to enter where Lamb is staying, so, that's what we're doing. And, uh, just, uh, when you first enter, it's gonna be dark, but, uh, Delta turns his lights on. So, you know, I don't, you know, get you freaked out about that. Um, the plants you'll see everywhere will be explained shortly. So don't worry about that. Uh, we also kill a big daddy in this episode just to get some uh, stuff done. And then here, uh, Gil Alexander's saying like, uh, the power's out. Um, go hit the circuit breakers or whatever, and then the lights turn back on." So that's basically what he's saying. And then we go do that, and he's like, "Oh, whatever you saw in that giant tank, yeah, that was me." So it's crazy. Um, the circuit breakers are fairly easy to find. They're just really on uh, either side of. The tank, the tank's in the middle of the room. Um, I thought the circuit breakers were down here. I thought they were in a completely different room for some reason. I don't know. But uh, they're not down here. Don't don't uh, follow my misleading uh, video evidence that I went the wrong way. But uh, there's the one circuit breaker. And then the other one is on the, in the same spot on the other side. So that's all fun and whatnot. Uh, so that one's right there. And then... Uh, did that audio log and I was I was uh what you call it? I played the audio log and I walked back to where you press the button to turn the lights on. And I was gonna wait to press it just because I wanted to uh hit the audio log play, but it was like wait you guys aren't gonna hear the audio log anyway anyways it really doesn't matter. But the audio audio log um some of it was just explaining what Gil Alexander did uh beforehand, like before he became insane. It was just really explaining um, some of the work he did, it was like, basically he was working with how big daddies and little sisters, like, coincide with each other, there was like a genetic connection between them, and he was explaining that, and then, uh, just, you know, that sort of stuff, and then, uh, right here, you know, Alexander was saying, um, uh, you know, be wary of what, uh, lies in the tank, or something like that. So, he's just saying that, and then that thing, that giant thingy that just went away, that was Gil Alexander, and then the same Gil Alexander comes back, he's like, yeah, whatever you just saw in that tank was me, so, yeah, he's just explaining that, and then he explains on how uh, to draw himself out, and that's where these plant thingies come into play, and uh, the plant thingy, uh, to the left of the screen, of, of the Gil Alexander screen, uh, that's what we need to collect, they're like, Adam... In, they're like a genetically altered plants that were given Adam to see how they would um like how plants would react to it and if you could make a better uh like plant from it uh so like it was kind of like eugenics with plants it was crazy nonsense so uh we gotta find four of those to draw um Gil Alexander out of his uh, tank thingy because apparently that tank's a lot deeper than uh we can see it is so. Gotta go get the, uh, and I knew someone was shooting me here. This scared the crap out of me, because I didn't know where he was, and then boom! So I was like, oh, oh my god, there's, there's people here. So there's two Alpha Series guys here, nothing, uh, too bad. They're, they're really not, uh, too bad. They don't have as much health, or no, not health. They don't have as much armor 
as regular big daddies, so you can use stuff like these uh, trap rivets. These are not not rivets, blah blah blah. Trap spear ammo. These trap spear ammo, that spears actually do a lot of damage. I don't think they would do this much because they stick into them and then they uh, they uh, electrocute them. But it actually does damage. So I was like, oh, this is crazy and awesome. So I don't know what he did there. He like exploded. It was crazy. Um, so. Here I'm just cycling through weapons because I can never find something that has ammo. Because, you know, that's just me. And then uh, we will go to where uh, we get the first one of those plant thingies. I think we have to find four or something like that. It's not that many. So we're going over here because I thought the first one was down the other door, which is where we were going. But apparently it's not because the golden arrow popped up when we killed those two Alpha series. So apparently we had to kill those, but I wasn't listening to... Uh, whatever Gil Alexander was saying, which isn't the smartest idea. And then there's just the uh, two, uh, ah, blah, blah, two splicers, um, hacking up some, uh, some, some atom-infused plants, because they wanted to get the atom out of, uh, uh, atom out of it, so they can stick it on their arms like heroin and crap. So, yeah, that's good fun. And I didn't notice the security camera here, so I, I stepped back, and then I, I, auto hack it because auto hacking is awesome and like I said before if uh, security bot spots you and you hack it real quick it uh blah blah um the security bots go away so if you just hack it real quick it really doesn't matter um this room is where we find our first so that blah blah plant thingy I can't talk today or at least I can't process what I'm talking about so um plants in the corner right here so you pick it up and then the big daddies start, um, what's it called? Uh, the big daddies come to life, so, you know, that's fun. And right there, I think I was changing my song, so that's why there was a short pause. And here, I put a, um, proximity mine on this big daddy. I don't know if it, um, I'm not sure if he's the one that comes to life. I know a few of them come to life, and, uh, so I did that. Uh, I think it did some damage, but this uh, this scene's kind of reminiscent of um, the one scene in Bioshock One, where you walk into this like freezer, and uh, you uh, blah, blah, blah. the um, that's even called smoke. I don't even know what it is. It like smoke comes down, and you can't see. And you hear footsteps running around. When the smoke's gone, you're like, ah, oh, nothing happened. And then the same thing happens again, where smoke comes down. You hear, and you don't hear anything. And uh, you turn around, there's a guy behind you. Guys. So that was, it was, it was pretty scary. That was like one of the scary parts in Bioshock One. But yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I, the, I just thought it was kind of reminiscent of that one. And here I walk in here. There's, there's stuff in here, but I thought that thing on a wall was a power of the people machine, like the weapon upgrade machine. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna show you that guys that. But apparently it's not. So we just kept moving. And um, uh, uh mm -hmm, there. Apparently, I upgraded the well, I upgraded the rivet gun and the shotgun fully. So that means well, we get six power of the people machines, and there's like 14. So we near we didn't hit nearly all of them. So I might post a video after this LP showing you where they all are, but there's probably another video already uh, corresponding to that. So I feel like it'd just be a waste. And then here we kill Big Daddy. So, uh, we only got one left to go, which is awesome. Uh, so that, that's good fun. So, you know, this, uh, the, these, uh, heavy rivets actually do a lot of damage, so I suggest using them. Um, but yeah, these big daddies really aren't a problem at this point, mainly, um, the, uh, big sisters are, so just watch out for them. And, and they're, they're still, uh, not too bad just because you're getting used to fighting them. And, um, yeah, so... We're working close to the end. Um, not not too many episodes left. We don't got much left to do, but it'll still take us a little while, a little while to do it. So, alrighty, well, we're just about out of time. So I will see you guys next episode. All right, see ya.